All right, guys, so it's the day after the big wind where I got blown off the course. I'm no wind player, never have been. Can't even putt in the wind because it's shoving me about so much. But I hope you all got a little giggle at my expense out of that. Now I need to play these longer, tighter holes on the front nine. I need to find out where I am with ball striking, hitting fairways, hitting greens, etc, etc. And I've got to do that while trying to play quickly because we're up against darkness because this is about one in the afternoon. And I've got to do it while messing around with setting up a camera as well and thinking about all the stuff in my head that I'm supposed to do in my setup and my takeaway and what have you. So this is going to be a little bit tough. And because it's going to be a little bit tough and I need to concentrate and put the blinkers on, now I need to shut up and play. I was asked a couple of months back, if I use driver off this tee, does it get me past some of the trees I always get stuck behind? Of course, the answer to that is yes. So why don't I do it more often? Now, here's my nemesis at the moment. And I can see why. I was set up there aiming to the right. I think that's why I'm coming in shallow shoving the ball out to the right like that, sort of like a, a semi-knife. Now as I was in this bunker yesterday, I didn't have any fear of the shot, and as I missed this putt yesterday, I knew I was going to put a little bit of extra effort in. Yes. And that's what it's about today, to trying to concentrate and try and make a score. No, I didn't hook the ball yesterday enough, so I'm trying a bit harder today. Now I've overdone it, but the strike was very nice, so I'm not that bothered. And now I'll try another little running hook. And I overdid that one. You know, it's getting there. Now, I wasn't sure whether I should take a drop off this or not. What I do know is that there was a singleton in a golf cart behind me. And I rushed the end of this hole. I finished up in the GUR. That new turf round the bunker that they have reshaped as GUR. So I, I just knock it off the GUR. Chip it on. Take a bogey. Then I went to the third and I thought, why am I rushing for a guy in a golf cart? He doesn't have priority over me. So let's get back to concentrating and get back to playing my game and not his.
Number five, stroke index one. Now I keep shoving this out to the right, so this time I am most definitely going down the left. And that's a big one, even for me. Now here is another issue, and this is the bowing of the left wrist. When I bow the left wrist, I can't square the club face, and I shove it right. Now I often say never miss the fifth on the right, and this is why. You're chipping onto a green that's running away from you. You have no control over this. Your only hope is that you can hold the green, have a chance at par. I think the best part of today so far is I am starting to use the meat with my long clubs. And I'm starting to hit the shapes I want to hit. Right, some of them might be a little overdone, but I'm starting to hit them. Now this is another one of those semi-knifed sort of irons. Now I'm not doing this on the range and I don't understand why I'm doing it on the course. So I can only guess there's something going on in the head. But uh, this is rather pleasing. But yesterday into a strong wind I was short with the six iron so it's the five today. And that is an absolute peach. So you'd think the five is harder to hit than a seven or an eight iron, but at the moment I really don't quite understand what's going on. And that should have been a fair bit quicker than that. Now one of the funniest sounds in golf is a ball hitting a tree from a different fairway. Well, over the next two holes, I hit three trees. And the sound has been enhanced for your viewing pleasure. Well, that was two lucky and outrageous pars to close the nine. I'm only two over. I don't think I've done anything special. So what I'd like to do here is just settle into getting solid pars rather than one putt pars. 
Unfortunately, I've dragged that left, and left is not the place to be on this hole. Or rather, this green. Dead centre. Well, while I was playing 11, there was two groups sat on this tee waiting for the fairway to clear. So I've had a very long wait here. And that was just thin. I think the cold just got into my bones for a little while. Now i got to hit a fade with a 6-iron out of a lie like this. And I surprised myself there. I was not expecting myself to actually hit a quality shot. But I left myself a very, very difficult chip. And it's short. I'm a very competitive animal. When I get the blinkers on, I go very, very quiet on the golf course. Probably not the sort of person that you'd want to play a medal right. with when I'm really concentrating, because the conversation is zero. And it's very raw and very obvious that I am very competitive. Sometimes I get embarrassed about it, and I'm and embarrassed about the score. Especially now it's up for view on YouTube. But I guess that's what makes me, me, and not somebody else. Little message for Miles Martin. Here's the five wood you want, mate. 179, uphill, into a cold wind. This is playing of probably about 205 yards. This is the club you want. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What a shot.
that was beasted right down the banner which is cut on the right side of the green yeah I'm on the green about 12 feet right of the hole between the hole and, and the water no fear I've grown about three inches taller in this round now some people can play and laugh and joke all the way round and they play very average some people can laugh and joke and then they can uh, get concentrating and play well I'm neither of those two things for me to play my best I got to put the blinkers on really concentrate shut up and play cheerio